I'm Laura. I, I suffer from depression and uh, generalised anxiety disorder, uh, and uh, I've chosen to be a comedian, so we can, we can chat that later. Uh, I had a very specific thing happen to me. I used to be the happiest person you'll ever meet, and then... Uh, uh, a few years ago, uh, my wonderful husband and I decided to start trying for a baby. See, I love my husband more than anything, and I love babies more than anything. So I thought, OK, this will work. We'll get our wet bits, put them together, make a baby of our own. <laughs> That's the fun way to do it, isn't it? So we did. We started trying for a baby. We got three months in, and I was diagnosed with depression and generalised anxiety disorder. And we found out that uh, my husband can't have children because of my personality. <laughs> If you're making that noise now, you're going to be in trouble by the end of the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, uh, I did. I, I got depression instead of a baby. Uh, it's, uh, it turns out, though, depression and children, very similar things, actually. All my friends have got kids now. I've got a 22-month-old depression, and you cannot tell me apart from my new mum friends. We're, we're all overtired. We've all got stains on our clothes, and none of us are as much fun at parties as we used to be. I just go to quieter support groups. <laughs> Same padded play area, though. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I, I named my depression. I thought, sod it, when life hands you lemons and all that crap, isn't it? So I thought, sod it, right? All my friends with flesh babies have named theirs. What should we call the misery fetus? But it's quite hard, isn't it? What do you call a ball of obsessive thoughts? So I thought, mm, actually, well, I suppose people with actual kids, they name them after where they were conceived, don't they? So I did the same with the depression. I called it Inside Every Silence. Isis, for short. <laughs> Figured it works. Name depression after a terrorist cell, because that's what it is. It's hard to pin it down. It undermines your hope in a future, and articles about it in the tabloids tend to be dangerously misguided. 